now we are going to talk about something very important the the stuff we are going to talk about is how to find um table how to find all the transpose related to uh related to our customer. so i'm logging in okay uh, so this is my login i'm logging in so suppose I want to find all the transports for uh, for a particular object. Okay, for all the Z objects. So uh, everything in the SAP is a table. So you get a SAP table, and then if you don't like this, you can go to SAP. Here, table is E zero seven one. So they basically stores the object. Now here, if I put Z star, I'll get all the transports. Related to this. So, if you see, and suppose you want to maintain the transports related with this this particular system, you can always go and uh, so I can put uh, what was the system name before H? Uh, probably not. It's S4H. S4H. Nope. So. I'll put Z star to execute, and we should be ignoring all these SAPK ones. Okay, these are standard ones. These are some of these. So what I'll be doing is I'll just go here, and I'll just do this, and here it's HS4. So anything HS4. It's the transport so here you can see all the z objects and if you double click on each so you, you will know what is the type of the object so f30b is i don't know f30b is is automatic post posting case. this is something related with posting case so probably it's customized request so basically here it tells you all the objects that are transported. Now, this is the line item table. Now, if you want to know the header table, the header table is another table called E070. Okay, here you can see you go to SC16 and you go to E070. And here, if you search with uh, with the user ID, you will know who are the uh, what are the transfer that has been created by this person so uh, so once it comes it's pretty slow the system i think everyone was working from home since due to the coronavirus so you know the internet speed is slowing down you don't have the rocket speed of staying in office and working so that's why you're having a slow system so once it comes e070 then it will be good and in the meantime, I can show you something. So if you go here and you can see all this E07 key, this this is the this is the transport number. This is still running. So if I click on this and I do control Y, control C, and what I'll do is I'll create a new session. Okay, and I go to SC09. And here, from here, I can see the transports. So, single transport, and I push enter. And if I click on this, see, these are all the transports that are there. And if you see, these have all these entries, it's a lot of entries. So, now let me see, it's still running this. this one. Okay, finally, it came. So, here, suppose I want to see all the transport that has been created by this person student one three i can see all this transport that has been created so this is very useful so how so we found how to find all the objects so suppose at this point of time if you wanted suppose i want to see all the uh, how many transports has been created for this particular function model. So I can just go, I just need to know the name, you know, and you execute, and there's only one. Okay, 
so this is the transport that has been created so this is very useful in order to create your transport list for a big project and the chances of means you can always go to the to the actual program in sc38 and get all the transport numbers but here if you have multiple objects like take like a custom table like a program like a function group you can get it at one go and so the chances of making mistakes is less because once if you have a transport problem then it's a major problem which you should which you don't want so this is the way to do it so so that's it for anything related with transport so in this tutorial we learned how to get transport numbers from a particular z object a custom object okay and we also found what are the different transfers that are created by a particular user id stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning and be safe and stay home and uh, and learn sap thank you and have a great day